Okay, and we're on the differentials chapter, and we're looking at a problem that's like estimate the cube root of 7.9 using differentials. And in general, our approximation is going to look like this, where we have some reference starting point f of a, and we'll add to that f prime of a times delta x, and if I like, I can call that latter part, I could call this delta y. Um, but there's a problem here. And the problem is we don't know what f of x, a, and b, b of course refers to the thing that I'm approximating, f of b. Um, we don't know what f of x, a, b, and delta x are. We have to come up with them on our own. And the strategy is going to be guided mainly by the fact that we want we want f of a to be easy. And that's that's pretty much all that we have going for us in in terms of strategy. Um so here what is f of x? Well, usually that one's kind of obvious. Uh, in this case, we want f of x to be the cube root of x. And what's near 7.9? Um, we know that b is 7.9. So in looking for a, what's near 7.9, that has a nice easy square root. We could Not square root, cube root. We could say that a is 8 and put those together and it's going to make delta x equal to negative 0 0.1. So now we've got all of our ingredients to set up the approximation. Um, f of a is just f of, whoops, I almost put 2. Okay, we had a little technical difficulty there. Uh, f of a is going to be f of 8, which is, of course, the cube root of 8, which is 2. Um, f prime, f prime of x is the derivative of x to the 1 third, which is 1 third x to the minus 2 thirds, perhaps more conveniently written as 1 over 3x squared, and then I can cube root that. Now we've gotten, so far, delta x, f of a, and lastly we need f prime of a before we can figure out our approximation. Uh, so f prime of 8 is going to be 1 over 3 times uh, the cube root of 8 squared, which is 1 over 3 times 4. If you want to hit pause and figure out why on earth that's 4, feel free to do so. f prime of 8 is 1 twelfth. So, putting it all together, back at the beginning, our approximation is going to be and I guess I'll write it in a shade of green. Um, f of 7.9 is about f of a, which is 2, plus f prime of a, which is 1 twelfth, times delta x, which is negative 0.1. And if I was a little smarter about choosing my numbers, I might have picked it so that the decimals work out nicely. Um, but we can still write this as a fraction. This is 2 minus 1 over 120, uh, which is, if you like, 239 over 120. So we can leave that 
as our final answer to the approximation. Uh, again, recapping everything. We had to pick our function. That was kind of obvious given that we were asked to estimate the cube root of something. Obviously, we're going to pick the function as cube root. Uh, B is forced upon us at 7.9. The key then is we want to pick an A that's easy to plug in to the function. Here, A is 8. Plugging that into the function gives us the value 2. Plugging 8 into the derivative gives us f prime of 8, which is 1 12th. We put it all together in the approximation formula right here, and we see that uh, the cube root of 7.9 is about 1 120th less than 2. And if you like, you can say that delta y here is negative 1 over 120. Okay.